Ever wonder why some people just seem to have that it factor? That certain magnetism mm -hmm. that draws others in. Well, today's deep dive might just reveal some answers. Okay. Because we're uncovering the secrets of the rat personality. Oh, fun. According to the Chinese Zodiac, that is. I like it. And we're going beyond those basic horoscope tropes, right? Oh, yes. We're digging into, um, what's it called? Zodiac fusion. Yes. Zodiac fusion. It blends Eastern and Western Zodiac insights. I love that. A little fusion always makes things more interesting. So let's start with the basics. Year of the Rat. It's the first line in the Chinese Zodiac, right? It is. What's the significance of kicking things off, being first in line? It's a powerful position to hold, I think, when you say. Being first, it's not just about being, you know, quick off the mark, although rats definitely are known for their agility. For sure. But it speaks to a deeper energy, I think, of initiation. Yeah. Of bringing forth new beginnings. Yeah. Of seeing possibilities where others might not. Okay. So we're already talking about sharp minds and a knack for, like, innovation. Absolutely. Yeah. Think about some of the famous rats out there. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. Cristiano Ronaldo, even Katy Perry. Oh, wow. They all embody that rat resourcefulness and ambition, each in their own way, of course. That's such a great point. It really shows the range yes. of how these traits can play out in real life. And speaking of traits, our source lists out quite a few. Intelligent, charming, adaptable, quick-witted problem solvers. It's like a recipe for success. It is. But like any good recipe, there's a balance to be struck, right? right? Rats are incredibly driven. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. But that ambition, that ambition can be a double-edged sword. Oh, interesting. Yes, it fuels their achievements, but it can also make them prone to, you know, comparison. Right, right. Feeling inadequate, maybe, if they're not careful. Oh, I see. It's that classic never enough trap. That's really insightful. It's like their greatest strength can also become their Achilles heel. Yeah. If they aren't mindful. Precisely. And this is where that Zodiac fusion concept Adds another layer. Okay. The rat's ruling planet is Mercury, known for its, you know, quick, changeable energy. Right. So you combine that with the rat's inherent drive. Yeah. And you get someone who's constantly buzzing with ideas, always wanting to be like 10 steps ahead. Hmm. I'm exhausted just thinking about it, but I can see how that could lead to burnout. Absolutely. If they aren't careful. Our source mentions that rats dislike feeling confined yeah or restricted right and i think that's a crucial insight into their nature they need space to explore yeah to follow their curiosity right mm -hmm. wherever it leads or they start to feel stifled it's that mercury energy totally needs an outlet i'm sure we've all been there right that feeling of needing to break free from routine yes to shake things up a bit seems like a classic rat move Perhaps we all have a bit of rat in us, Ooh. even if it's not our primary sign. That's a thought-provoking idea right there. But speaking of rat tendencies, let's talk about how this independent dynamic energy plays out in relationships. Because those rat charms can be pretty potent. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what they say. Behind every great person is often a great, what is it? Let me guess. A great support system. Base support system, yeah. Right. So let's talk about how the rat navigates love and friendship. Because, I mean, those rat charms yes. can be pretty potent. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is where Zodiac fusion gets really interesting. Okay. It's not just about, you know, your sun sign. Right. right. But how those energies interact. For a rat, understanding their compatibility with other signs yeah. can be incredibly insightful, I think. Okay. So spill the tea. Which signs make the best match Okay. for our rat friends? Well, according to our source, at least... The rat's most compatible signs are the ox okay. and the dragon. Really? Those seem like such different energies. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Let's start with the rat and the ox. Okay. So the ox, known for its, you know, grounded, dependable nature, right. provides a sense of stability right. that beautifully complements the rat's more dynamic energy. Okay. Sometimes unpredictable, right? Right, right. Um, it's a synergistic partnership. So the ox provides that, like, solid foundation. Yes. That allows the rat to soar. Yes. Without losing themselves in the cloud. Precisely. Okay. The ox grounds the rat, offering a sense of security. Yeah. While the rats, you know, wit and ingenuity. Yes. Prevent the ox from becoming too set in their ways. Oh! Each help the other thrive. I love that. A true power couple dynamic. Okay, now what about the dragon? That pairing just screams like fireworks. And you know what? 
sometimes a little fire is exactly what's needed. Remember how we talked about the rat's ambition? Yes. Well, the dragon matches that fire okay. with its own. I see. This is a pairing that thrives on mutual inspiration achievement. So the dragon encourages the rat to dream even bigger. Yes. To reach even higher. Exactly. They push each other, challenge each other. Yeah. And they create this incredibly dynamic, inspiring partnership. But it's not just about professional success. Right. The dragon's natural warmth and generosity, I think, can help soften some of the rat's sharper edges, maybe. Yeah. Creating a surprisingly harmonious balance. I'm fascinated by how these seemingly different energies can complement each other. Yeah. So well. But what about those pairings that might require a little more, you know, oh, hey. effort? Our listeners need to know. Yeah. If they should be bracing themselves. Right, right. For relationship turbulence. Well, let's just say that awareness is key. Okay. No matter your sign, right? Right. The source does highlight some potential challenges. Okay. With certain pairings. Yeah. And it often comes down to communication styles. Okay. Life approaches, you know. Give us an example. Don't leave us hanging. All right. All right. Take the horse, for instance. Okay. Horses, like their namesake, right? Okay. They, they crave freedom, independence, and they can be quite spontaneous, I think. Right. Rats, on the other hand. Yeah. A bit more calculated, maybe. Preferring to plan, strategize. Okay. So a bit of a clash in styles there. Yeah, yeah. But wouldn't that also bring a bit of excitement to the relationship? Opposites attract and all that, right? Yeah, they absolutely can. <laughs> and let's be honest, a little friction can keep things interesting, but it requires, I think, a conscious effort yeah. to understand and appreciate those differences. Right. Without that, communication breakdowns oh. can become a recurring theme. So communication is key. That's good advice for any relationship, really. Exactly. Regardless of zodiac signs. But it sounds like these compatibility insights, they can offer valuable clues, right? Yes. About, you know, potential strengths, yeah. potential challenges, which can be helpful. Absolutely. For navigating those inevitable relationship quirks we all have. Astrology, it's a tool. Yeah. For self-awareness. Right. And understanding. It's not about, like, predicting doom and gloom. Right. But rather, you know illuminating yes. different facets of ourselves right. and our connections right. with others. Okay, before we wrap up our rat deep dive. I have to circle back to this whole Zodiac fusion thing. Yes. Because it's just too fascinating to gloss over. I agree. So we've been exploring the rat through the lens of the Chinese Zodiac. Right. right. But this source encourages us to layer in our Western signs as well. Yes. For like a more nuanced perspective. Exactly. It's like adding another dimension to a map, right? Instead of just seeing the landscape, you're getting the contours, the elevations. It creates a much richer, more detailed picture. Exactly. So how does this play out with the rat? You know, okay. what happens when we combine those, the classic rat traits with say, the fiery energy of an Aries? Now, that's a combination that can really set things in motion. Right. You're talking about a double dose of ambition and initiative. This could be someone who, like, blazes trails. Yeah. Starts their own company or becomes a really powerful advocate. Right. For a cause they believe in. Wow, that's a powerful image. But what about a rat paired with maybe a more grounded sign? Okay. Like a practical Taurus, let's say. Ah, that's where we might see the rat's shrewdness come to the forefront. Okay. And resourcefulness, you know. This could be someone who's incredibly financially savvy. Right. Who builds a really solid foundation for themselves and their loved ones. Okay. They might be drawn to careers in, like finance, real estate, anything that allows them to create, you know, tangible security. It's amazing how those Western signs add such a, like, specific flavor to the rat personality. Right. So it's not enough to just know your year. You've got to consider your whole like astrological birth chart. Yes. For the full download. Precisely. It's like, you know, understanding someone's cultural background or their upbringing. Right. It provides like context. Right. And nuance to who they are. That's such a great way to put it. It's all about those layers. Yeah. Of understanding. Exactly. And with the rat, there's always more to uncover, right? Yeah. They're complex, dynamic right. individuals. Keep us on our toes. Well said. <sighs> now, before we let our listeners go, any final words of wisdom? Oh, sure. For our rat friends or anyone who, you know, loves a good rat. Embrace your curiosity. Okay. That inquisitive spirit, that's a gift. Yeah. Don't be afraid to, you know, explore, ask questions, challenge things a little bit. Yes. And remember, even though you're incredibly resourceful, capable, 
Right. It's okay to ask for help. Yes. When you need it. So well said. And on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive into the fascinating world of the Year of the Rat. Huge thanks to our amazing expert for illuminating all of these astrological insights with us. It was my pleasure. It was a joy to explore this with you. And to you, dear listener, thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you've gained some, you know, fun, thought-provoking takeaways, yes. whether you're a rat yourself or, you know, simply navigating the wonderful world of rats in your life. Right. Until next time, happy exploring.